Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Soloing the Ark. I'm Flinger Foo, standing in my skivvies in the middle of a bunch of probably very, very smelly fur. I mean, I've never really tried to figure out exactly what Megatherium smell like, but I would imagine it's pretty rank. I would imagine they probably have some sort of weird musky funk that the moment you touch it, you just can't wash it off with soap. The fur kind of suggests that. <laughs> anyway, so today we're starting it off with Alpha Broodmother. We're going to see if we can do this. All right, let's do it. All right, let me get out of here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Got to be next to you. I got to be in front of you. Got to be in front of you, okay? All right, now I don't know if this is going to work, if this is not going to work. I hope it's going to work. I just know that it's probably going to kick my butt and it's probably not going to work at all. But at least I've got my undies for it, right? Yeah! <laughs> oh, yay! Hey, 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 hey! Don't you be pushing me aside! There we go. Eat her. Why are you guys not eating her? Eat her faster. No, but no, no, Violet. I liked Violet. Violet was awesome. Oh, but too bad, Violet. We won't really need Violet, unfortunately. Not happy. Oh well. Oh, and that was gruesome. Alright, but we still beat her. And the Megatherium army. Oh. Where's your saddles? Oh, Violet. Oh, where's your saddle, Violet? Oh, Violet. You will be missed. You were awesome and amazing. Alright, so, yeah, we didn't even get all the, uh, um... All the saddles, but at least that's the alpha. Okay, so we are done with the mega, um, I mean, with the broodmother for now. How many do, oh, wow. How many do we have left? Well, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. Wow. Well, you guys are beasts, and I appreciate your efforts. I really, really do. But I think we are done here over on the uh, broodmother side of things. Yeah, all right, so, um, let's see, um, I don't think we need Bob over here. Hey, um, EJ, I need to take all your stuff, thanks, and then you can have your food back. And we've got some element, so we've got 102 element because, uh, yeah, I haven't even left here after, uh, I did the, uh, beta. So now we've got that. Oh, also, I need to grab all my stuff out of here. Oh, uh, oh, dude, what, what's worse? Is that... Yeah, you, you, you had the pole stuck up your butt, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's like the worst thing ever. You know, you, you went in, you fought the thing, you lost all your buddies, and you come out, and you got a pole jammed up there. Sorry, man. Sorry. All right. Well, let's get the uh, um, Deo done over there. So now that you guys are done, we'll probably uh, get you... Um... Probably get you guys just a uh, nice little country home. Yeah, all except for you, Fluffy. You you still got work to do, Fluffy. All right, but you Megatheriums, you did great. Yeah, I'm gonna get you guys a nice home in the in in the mountains, and then you can look down over everybody and sip your coffee in the morning, and then have like your uh, rums at night, and then you know we'll ha get I'll deliver you some sweet veggie cakes every once in a while. And yeah, and then we'll talk, and then yeah, it'll it'll be great. It'll be great, right? Right? Don't look at me like that, please. You guys did great. You did great. All right. So we've got the alpha down. Uh, the Megapithecus army. I mean the uh, um, Omegatherium army. It's it's no more. 
but it did its job. We got alpha, we got gamma, alpha, and beta done. Check. All right, I'm gonna get these guys healed up, and then I'll bring you guys back because we're gonna head back to base because now we gotta start um, thinking about... Now we gotta start thinking about where we go from here. Yep, all right. See you guys in a bit. All right, and we're back. Cruising up in here to uh, the base. Let's see, let's hop off you. Let's see, you've got everything that you need. Oh, well, let me grab that, and you don't need that. And you probably won't need that, but you'll need the other stuff, all right? Let you know that, just in case. All right, let's see. Um, Down over here. Okay, so we've got these. And I don't know about you, but I don't feel right about um, putting my element inside that little tiny wooden box. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just me. But, yeah, I think I'm going to put it out over in here. Uh, let's see. Um, so now we've got 109 elements. So we're, we're slowly moving up in the world. Yeah. Let me put this metal over in here. Um. This. Oh, Journeyman Manta. Cell. That's right. I need to go tame a Manta. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um. Put this over in here. Bam. Uh, no, not that. Not. Actually, you know what? You're part of the caving gear. You go. Ahead. All right. Let's see. What about over in here? Oh, you're almost full. Okay. Well, you can have that. All right. And let me take that back. Keep that back. And let me take that back. Got that back. There you go. Nailed it. All right. Let's see. Um, that in there. Also, I want to see what kind of flak I have. Okay. I've got one piece of flak. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, I've gotten quite a bit of stuff. But also, um, today, uh, one of the other things we need to do. What? Oh, my set of high pants. That's right. That's right. I sent it high pants. They go right in there with my hide. Um, now I can just throw the old ones on the ground. There you go. Who needs regular primitive ones when we have ascended, right? Okay, so uh, we've got Big Bertha. We've got uh, Firefly. We've got Wicked Super Dodo. Oh, and also we need to have Bob go out. So Bob needs to go back over here. I mean, Bob, he's been over at the uh, Green Obelisk for a long time. Yeah, and Bob was my usual go-to for um, gathering up berries, and then now he's back. Welcome back, Bob. Welcome back, Bob. Things be beating you around. Don't let the T-Rex tails get in your way, all right? That T-Rex tail comes out here, you smack it back, all right? You've got a big tail, too. Don't let their uh, obvious tail superiority get in the way, okay? All right. Okay, so now that we've got that done, now I'm just waiting on the cooldown so I can get... So I can get uh, um, a Super Dodo set out. But um, while I'm waiting on that, I think what I want to do is I want to go down... I want to take out Sea Pickle. And actually, you know, Sea Pickle can go up there. I want to take out Sea Pickle, and then from there, I think I want to go do the uh, the easy underwater cave, the Cave of the Brute. That way there, we can actually uh, uh, get a little bit more loot, plus also we can start work um, working on um, oh, getting all the artifacts that we need, because we're going to need a whole bunch of those artifacts. We're going to need uh, the artifacts of, uh, uh, what is it, artifact of... Uh, yeah, those ones. Yeah, uh, Brute is one of them for the Megapithecus because now that the Brute Mother is dead, now we need to start gearing up for the Megapithecus. Yeah, which means that we have to breed some aloes. I think I also want to see if we can take in a few uh, um, Volanosaurs. I want to see if we can get the Volanosaur army going, up and going and ready to go. But I also need to head over to Extinction so where I can start getting the gotchas going and then... Yeah, which means I have to go get the. I have to go back over to the extinction, relearn the gotcha saddle, and then come back. <laughs> because what last time I was over there, I forgot to learn the gotcha saddle. Well, I did, but I I, I respect while I was over there. Which is also what when I was making up the mega uh, um the uh, um. 
Oh, the Megatherium Saddles, that's why I didn't respec. I've respec far too many times so far um, in this season. And so, I mean, I was thinking about it. I was like, you know what, maybe I should respec so I can redo this. But I was thinking, you know, it was only a 56 armor saddle. The most I'm going to be able to get out there is like six, maybe nine points. Something like that. So it really wasn't worth it for the respec. <laughs> so, but now, uh, yeah, they did their job. They did. It worked. It worked. So, all right. So, hey, I'll bring you guys back, and I will see you guys in a bit when it's when we're ready to uh, head down to the cave. I seem to have a problem. I threw out my Quetzal. And it went through my floor. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, um, Firefly, I'm not sure how. Well, you know, I'll. I know how I'll have to get you out of here. I'll have to cryo orb you out of here. But, all right. Enjoy the trough while you're here. All right. Um. Yeah, that's a thing. Oh, 2800. Oh, we might have to stop at that. Ah, oh, how rare can you actually get 2800 weight? All right. Exactly. Probably pretty often, but still, I'm probably going to keep it there just because it's exactly even. All right, so uh, now that we've got that, now, um, let's see, um, let's grab the, uh, the underwater tanks. Grab this, grab this, um, and then I'm going to take uh, Bertha with me, and then I'm going to take Sea Pickle with me. Just because. Um, Bertha is going to be like the backup just in case if something bad happens to Sea Pickle. I hope nothing bad happens to Sea Pickle or else I'm going to have to go out and get a new Sea Pickle because the current Sea Pickle is quite amazing. Right? I mean, when you've got a really good Sea Pickle, I mean, you've got a really good Sea Pickle. And then you can walk up to everybody and be like, hey, look at my Sea... Wait. Hold on. Never mind. Never mind. All right. That was going off on a weird, uh, you know... Uh, Weird direction. I'm not sure where it was going, but, you know, having other people look at your sea pickle, I'm not sure if that's going to be a great idea. I mean, it could. I mean, it could float your boat. I don't know. I mean, a lot. Hey, I'm not judging. All right? I mean, if you, if you start off conversations by going, hey, look at my sea pickle, then you know what? That's on you. All right? That, that's, you know, more power to you. That's what I like to say. Alright. <laughs> so yeah, could you just imagine that, you know, you're walking through, uh, you know, you go and, uh, you know, you're walking through work, first day of work, and <laughs> you walk up to your boss, and he, you know, shakes your hand, and he's like, hey, you know, I'm really a bit anxious for you to come work here. You know, you're like, yeah, alright, but have you seen my sea pickle? <laughs> That'd be a great day, huh? A great way to start off uh, a new relationship at work, right? Right, so yeah, maybe we should come up with like some sort of a national sea pickle day. So where every day, you know, one day out of the year, you start off every sentence with, have you seen my sea pickle? That would be such a bad idea. Bad idea, don't do that. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna stop drinking the coffee for a little bit. We're gonna head down to the underwater cave, right? <laughs> See you guys in a bit. All right, Houston, we have a problem. We seem to have White drops coming down in the middle of the water. Huh, I don't think I've ever seen one come down there. I know there's white drops that drop up there on the side of one of the most dangerous mountains of all time in Ark. Which is kind of odd that a white drop would come down up there, but it apparently happens. Alright, I'm gonna drop you off here. Alright, Super Dodo, alright, you're gonna sit here and then you're gonna hold all my skivvies, okay? Have that, and then you can have that, and then you can have that, and then you- well, actually, you know what? I need- I need that, because scuba. Alright, take that, take that. Here, you also get this wonderful, um, Dino Gateway, uh, blueprint that I found. It's amazing. Alright, and then also you can have that, and then you can have that, and then you can have that, and maybe that, and then possibly a metal door. Yes? Don't you go crafting too many metal doors on me, alright, buddy? Alright, uh, remember last time. Alright, go with that, and then- yeah, you know, we might need the shotgun shells. Um, let's take that. Now, let's see. Um, we're not going to need the whip or the sickle. Um, not the hatchet and not the pick. All right, Super Dodo. All right, you uh, hang. Yeah, you hang tight. All right, you hold the fort. Thank you. All right. So now, let's get our merry butts down to the water. Let's go see if we can knock ourselves out of cave. And I love this area of the island. Ah. Uh, and I just love this area. 
This area, I mean, it's changed a little bit over um, since the game first came out, but not much. Not much at all. I mean, I love this uh, area. Right over there was where my very first base made. Well, very first full base. I made other bases way over there before I decided to migrate. All right. So, uh, let's see. Let's get down over here. Let's see. So, uh, I have a question for everybody. Have you seen my sea pickle? <laughs> Um, see, is my sea pickle amazing? Oh, she has damage. Okay, well, we're gonna have to go uh, fix that. Got 40k hit points already. Holy crap, you're good. Oh, are you a blue drop or a white drop? I thought you were a white drop. You probably just look blue under the water. Yep. All right, let's go get some meats. And then we'll head down to the cave and then we'll get you healed up first. Hey, Mr. Night Area. I know you're not going to give me meats, but I still want to gank you because reasons. Thank you for the biotoxin. All right, see you guys in a bit. Hey, Manta, come here. All right, so coming down inside of this cave, and here, let me show you right where it's at. It's uh, over here. Yeah, um, you'll find all this seaweed and stuff, and it's right down inside of here. But you also have to be careful because there can be... All sorts of big nasties and terrible things with big pointy teeth or tentacles down here um, under, uh, you know, hiding inside the seaweed. Yeah, it's great. I mean, let me tell you. Alright, let's go uh, find the cave entrance. Of course, we're going to start taking damage here in a minute. But yeah, you can find Alpha Tussos down here and all sorts of stuff. Just hanging out. Yeah, it's great. Matter of fact, this is usually my uh, one of the spots that I go to all the time. The tame uh, um, Tussos. All right, now coming inside the cave. Um, it's this cave's like I said, it's the easier, it's the easy underwater cave. But it's still kind of a pain in the butt. I mean, there is no true easy, easy underwater cave. And Alpha Mosas and Tussos and stuff like that are in here. Alright, but there's sometimes a loot drop here. Alright, let's get up here and let's head to the left. Yep. Alpha Mosa, right there. Level 110. Let's see if we can gank it with the sea pickle. Alpha Mosa's hurt. I don't want to get stuck underneath an Alpha Mosa. Alpha uh, Moses in this cave. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get me out of here. Okay, I don't want to be stuck. Thank you. Alright, let's. And there's a shark. Alright, let's skirt back around. One thing you don't want to do in, in any underwater cave is get stuck. You get stuck, bad things happen. Seriously, shark? I'm on. Stop chewing on me, right? My sea pickle is for my, uh, uh, I was gonna say enjoyment, but that's gonna get really weird there. All right. Sorry. Sorry. All right, but this is also a great place to get XP. 
let's get some food going. And then we'll go take out that alpha. Yeah, and we'll just sit here, wait for things to kind of come, uh, try to eat our face while we're busy, uh, force feeding. We've got a lot of meat, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, let's get up here. I was trying to force feed, but... Having, knowing that this guy is here... It's really messing with me. So I'm gonna see if I can gank this guy. And that's one of the cool things with alphas in this cave. I mean, they do spawn in here, but... Um... They tend to get stuck. Uh, Tuso's not as much as Moses. Moses... They really get stuck, like right now. Um, so that's that's a bonus for people in here ganking things. But eventually that'll probably get fixed, so just be on the lookout. If the Mosa turns around and starts eating your face, chances are it was fixed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be uh, chewing on this guy. If he turns around, I'm going to turn back on the recording, but this is probably going to take ages. So I will see you guys in a bit because this is definitely going to be one of those two hours later kind of thing. Yeah. Alright, see you guys in a minute. Alright, Mosa. You like that, huh? Got a sea pickle biting your butt here, dude. Alright, this is getting really weird. Alright, but hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta catch my breath, dude. <sighs> Getting back the stamina. Yep. Wow. You know it's a big Mosa when uh, you have to uh, stop and gain your breath just to uh, continue eating said Mosa. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, hang on, Mosa. <sighs> Gotta get my stamina again. It's two full bars of stamina. This Mosa is... He's only 110. He's got so many hit points, though. Uh, kind of glad that we backed up so we're, uh, you know, and ate everything at the beginning. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, and there it goes. Oh, wow, holy crap, that thing took forever. All right, let's see, can we chew you up? I wanna chew, no, 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 oh wait, that, I'm in K-mode, I'm in K-mode. Can't be in K-mode. Ah, hopefully we don't have any more of those in here. Wow. Oh, some eels, hey eels. Yep, come at me, bros. And this is why, between them and this, um, the night area, that's why you always, always, always want to take... Oh, 11 levels, holy crap. You always, always want to take a Basilosaurus inside these things. But yeah, um, the Alpha Mosa... That's the only way that you can get these. Uh, the Alpha Mosa and Alpha, tu Alpha Tuso Toothus is the only way that you can get these enhanced fishing rods. And these things are amazing. This right here, um, it's only a blue one and a Prentice one, but 219% effectiveness, that's awesome. And then also we got that. I mean, a 176 um, damage pike, that's pretty good. All right, let's take up your health just a little bit. All right, 45,000. Uh, stamina... 1740 and then me melee damage up to 618. That's good. All right Good job sea pickle. All right sea pickles pretty amazing yeah, All right All right, so now let's pop over inside this area Now you don't want to go too fast through here Uh, and then also there is loot boxes, or not loot boxes, but uh, um, XP boxes kind of spread throughout this area. But you want to make sure that you know where you're going when you hop off, because like this, there's a little manta. It's kind of just chilling out hiding. Yeah, you want to make sure... When you go inside these areas... Oh, Sea Pickle, you scared the crap out of me. I saw the face right there. I was like, oh, holy crap. <laughs> I jumped. All right. 
after I've got that XP. See, Pickle, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you're just trying to do your thing. It's okay. All right, let's see. Can we get your butt out of here? Let's get down this way. And Megalodons, of course. I'm on. See how fast the damage in this place just piles up? Yeah, it's kind of insane just how fast. swarm you. And then they can quickly overwhelm you. And just like, and there's, and there's the other cave where there's a whole bunch of, uh, well, 300 um, level Megadalon on. Wow. But yeah, there's, uh, donkeys in the other cave, and if you hit one donkey, I mean, the donkeys in there, they're neutral. And they won't mess with you until you accidentally hit one. And once they, you accidentally hit one, Oh, they come out of the woodwork at you. Oh, yeah. Not pretty. Alright, but... The underwater caves... They did an amazing job. Here, hold on. Hold on, let's go into K-Mode so I can see this properly. Yeah. That looks cool. Alright, let's get down here. Let's continue our journey. We're getting close to the artifact now. Nidaria. But yeah, I've seen two so toothuses and stuff like that in here. Yeah, just kind of just chilling out. <laughs> it's fun, let me tell you. Also, like in the uh, hard cave, in this easy cave, you still have to be uh, a bit careful with eating the uh, the salmon. Because the salmon, they will come after you. If you hit one and you don't one-shot it, they'll just keep coming after you and then munch it on you. And it turns out to be wicked bad. Yep, see, right there. So many salmon coming after us. And this is the room with the artifact. And I've got a ton of weight. Might as well keep the teeth, right? Before I hop off, oh, there's a big glob of stuff just floating there. Hey, I left that there. That's mine. Yay. All right, before I hop off, I'm going to make sure there's nothing here that's going to come out of the woodwork and start eating me because it will. If it's hiding here and you hop off, yeah, it's, it's going to come eat you. Yep, right there. See? Nailed it. I know never to trust it. It's almost like I've done this cave a few times, right? And there's the artifact of the brute. And then also... Oh, 
I leveled up. Oh, hey, awesome. I was like, hey, all right. All right, and then the same way that we came in, it's the same way we go out. But also on the way out, I'm gonna keep an eye out for uh, loot boxes because this cave can have some amazing loot, but you have to keep an eye out for the glows. Um, the yellow, the red, and the blue, and then sometimes the purple. Just because it's really easy to um, loot to miss it. Miss that? Hey, Megaloceros saddle and ooh, nice compound bow. That's pretty cool. All right, all right. Let's head our butt back. I wasn't able to find any other uh, loot drops, but you know what? That's fine. I mean, we came in, we got the Alpha Most, we got the fishing pole. That's wicked cool. Oh, I didn't get the, I didn't get the black pearls from the. Dude, did I? Nope. All right. Well, anyway, I've got black pearls a plenty. So, yeah. But uh, alphas on the island, um, alpha mosas and tusos, those are primarily the best sources for getting uh, black pearls. We've got an eerie morning glow all over the island. This is just weird. Looks like there's fog plus a heat wave and it's early morning, all of it combining. Holy crap. <laughs> that looks weird. And the water. Ah, oh, wow. Hey, Nessie. Keep, keep doing your thing, Nessie. All right, let's get back down here to base. And also, I think here pretty soon, I might actually want to uh, start doing uh, like an artifact room. Because I like the way the artifacts look. I mean, they, I mean, these things, a lot of effort. Where'd you go? There you are. A lot of effort went into making how these uh, artifacts look. And they look really cool. So, now let's get this back on. I, I think I can put that away. Super Dodo, you did great. Sea Pickle did amazing. Okay, right, let's take Sea Pickle. Put you up there. Do in there, 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 there. Get those things charging. And then let's take a look at, at all the stuff that we got. Um, while we repair this stuff. See there. That's that. All right. Okay, so we got uh, the Mastercraft Pike. Eh, it's, it, it's decent. Uh, the durability on it uh, kind of blows, but, I mean, 112 durability. Melee damage on it is amazing, though. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see, the 79 damage Megalostro saddle, so can stick out on a moose. Yay! And then this right here, the uh, compound bow, I mean, I realize it's only blue, but 208 melee damage, or weapon damage on a blue one, that's pretty good. All right, uh, same thing with this one, 180. That's really good, too. I mean, the durability on everything blows. I've noticed that today, the durability of everything that I've gotten kind of sucks. All except for that. That one's pretty good. And yeah, and then we're we're definitely gonna have to go fishing. We're totally gonna have to go fishing. That's gonna be amazing. All right, now let's take. Uh, look, we've got this. This is the biotoxin fridge. Let's take all that biotoxin. Stick that in there. Uh, let's see. Uh, put this. Nope, wrong button. That's for the finished. This is for the um, early stuff. We take that. Put that in there. And then we've got more of this. Oh, I've got to go get all my uh, my other titanobo venom from the other place. Oh, I'm out of room. Why do I have fiber in there? Don't need skins in there either. Gosh. Are we living in the dark ages? Jeez. Don't stick skins in with our uh, megalodon teeth. Gosh. Mm. That one too. Take that, that, that. All right. Hey, uh, Foo. Thanks, buddy. All right. And then we'll stick this over in here. But yeah, today's been a pretty uh, eventful. I mean, I, we did quite a bit today. <laughs> I mean, the Alpha Broodmother. Yeah, nailed it. Yeah, of course, the army over there. I mean, we can't, we can no longer farm the army over there, which means, and uh, it's, uh, it's actually kind of a good thing. 
that uh, mean that that army is toast because it, if it would have survived the alpha broodmother with uh, very little, I would have just felt the need to keep uh, farming the beta broodmother over and over and over. But now that the army is dead, while unfortunate that the army died, now we have to move on into the Megapithecus in order to get elements. So the element I have now is all the element I'm going to get for a little bit, unless if I can breed up a gotcha to uh, give me element. So that is going to, uh, you know, push me to uh, start driving towards the Megapithecus. Yeah, I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. So, hey, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm sorry. I, I hope C the whole sea pickle rant I went on earlier <laughs> <laughs> Didn't go a little over the top, but hey anyway, I was having fun with it All right, so hey uh, if you like the video make sure you click that like button I really appreciate that if you're new around here subscribe and until next time. This is a Fligger Foo. Take it easy everybody <sighs> All right uh, Super Dodo next time I start talking about sea pickles and stuff like that. Just smack me. Okay. All right You know me. I can't control what comes out of my mouth. I'm sorry. Look at me, Super Dodo, please. You just won't. What about now? Oh, you forgive me! Yay! All right. Oh, you're still giving me that condescending look. Don't do that. Don't judge me. I said don't judge me. Right? All right, take it easy, everybody. <laughs>